Uh, so 3rd of September, 10.52, Sunday morning, I've underneath Brentola Bridge here, um, I've started mapping my walks. Um, so I just started this walk three minutes ago. Uh, we've got most things up here now. We're going to go now to Irby Wood today. I'm not taping the whole thing, but just I'll tape whatever's changed. New sign up here now. There's no signs but below this bridge earlier on. So here's from underneath this Pintola Bridge, we've got Oak Wood, Oak Woods Car Park, which is that way. Over here you've got Frackfield Wood, Red Bray Wood, that's where all the sculptures mostly are. The red reindeers and all is that way. The rest of the sculptures are that way. Irvy Wood Car Park and Brentolet Wood. We're going this way now. More than that. Brentolet Wood is one of the newer ones. Uh, I'm not too keen on it. There's rabbits in it. The reason why there's rabbits in it, if you take all these old woods, all two bridges, John, all these old woods are where originally bits of land the farmers couldn't farm. If the land was flat or anything like that, the farmers cut the trees down back in Bronze Age times and they ploughed the fields. Um, the wee bits that remain, all these woods, are all in steep slopes, all rocky. So the trees never were cut down. Uh, what this thing here is doing now is linking them all together. And um, because planting trees is fashionable, they're reclaiming a lot of these fields that the farmers ploughed in and they're replanting trees. But that means that these fields are full of clay. Well, the, the steep bankings is all rocks and stuff. You will not get rabbits and then steep bankings over there. But Brentola wood was, you know, 15 years ago, farmers were planting crops on it. And because now farmers aren't planting crops and they plant the trees, all the wee rabbits have moved in. So there's four wee rabbits and all. I don't like anywhere there's rabbits in there. Now, it's not plague rabbits, not like uh, you go down to sand dunes, but there is rabbits in it. First time I took her in, oh, that was terrible. I can walk her through it now, but I had to keep an eye on her. Uh, so we'll go through Burntollet Wood. You can do a circle in Burntollet Wood. I might just do the circle today. So whenever you go up through this gateway and you come to a T-junction, if you go on the next wood, you turn right. If you turn left, it's taking you around the long way. So I'm going up to the next waterfall today, see how far it is. I brought my chips and all with me. I've got cans of food and all for Luna. So I'm going to finish this walk. I'm going to go in the car. I'm going to sit in the car. I'm going to get a wee rest. And I'll go on the laptop and things. And then uh, maybe after an hour and a half, then we'll do Killaloo Wood. And to get into the water, do a wee swimmies. Nest was not the best for swimmies, like right? too rocky. So this goes up to a uh, public road that goes to these, this house. I think it was one house and this public road, maybe two. Two houses I think. So this wee public road, access road, had to make these two houses. So you have to walk the road a wee bit. But the only traffic that's going to be on it is going to be between two houses. Not on the main road. So this wee cycle lane takes you on this road now. There's two houses, there's another one. Uh, we signs up here now. We've got all these signs up here during the official opening. All they need to do now is get the wee bollards in to stop traffic coming down. So that's why they put these out water container things. Traffic's coming down here in the shortcut. I can tell the bridge itself, I know. Uh, the old garden centre used to be in here. That's where the garden centre used to be. Anybody remembers the garden centre? There was a junction came off there, up there if you would. They took that junction away, and that's why they had to build this wee roadway. There's nothing stopping members of the public coming down this roadway. There's an access, no motor vehicles, but that's down there. Like. But if you want to come down this roadway and turn and park on the side, say it'd be motorhome or something, and you just want to be quiet spot for the day, and you couldn't do come down here. But some people like watching traffic. There's a up the bench over there. Go on the nephew you know, see if we get a group together to go on that. Nephew, he's all in for it. The other nephew, nah, he doesn't want to do it. He's scared of heights, he says. So, I don't know, we saying, it's all well signed for it now. Well, this is actually the yellow walk up here. I didn't think the yellow walk, I didn't think the walks were marked out this way. Uh, straight in front now is the, the steps. That's going to go on to now Brentollet Wood. 
You can see the wee handrail from here. So here's the wee steps. See, that's a problem there. I stopped recording now. There's the house. I've come no distance from that house. Wee dragonfly. I don't think the GoPro will pick them up otherwise. It's pretty quick. Wee dragonfly here. Got the wee berries coming out in some of them trees as well. See that stupid one that's picking up dog poop up in bags. If you want to shit out here, it lies. This is wilderness out here. Don't put in a bag like I'm living like that. So lots of wee berry trees up there as well. Well, not all these trees grow, this is going to be nice, you know. When them trees start getting big, they'll be overlapping the road and stuff, they'll be going to be nice. So this wee path was here in the wood. Uh, they just made this entrance. But so part of this wood was cut away to make this road. This wood went on down, so I'm just thinking was there another, I don't know. So it's not a way to walk very often, because that gets not lined up too well there, boys. See, that's a problem with wood there, wood moves. If the one catches out there now, like, see, bring in hinges in them gifts. Oh, I love the hinges. So I wonder if some wee windows to put the finger in them and get up and kill it. Yeah, that'll happen sometime, you know. That'll be a worldwide ban on them, man. Yeah. Steady to do now, it's got a wee spanner. Tighten that bolt. If they tighten that bolt up there, that'll raise that gate. So yeah, I can come down, like, there's two ways you can help charities out. This charity could pay a man to come and fix that gate. And I could pay four pound a month. And they'll pay this man £80 to come and fix that gate. Or I can fix the gate for Hey, look at this here, boys, they're even tight. You know what? I'm going to fix the gate for them. I need somewhere to lift that up there. Just to show, I'll do my bit for society here. I'm going to, this is how you fix a gate out in the wild. See, I'll get this GoPro here. I'll set it back here. I'm going to see if I fix this gate. Now, that gate there, and it's just to show you beforehand now. And this is it. So now the gate's not working now. I'll prop this wee GoPro up here to see if it works. Ah, oh, the screen's not even lit up, I can't even see the screen. Ah, I don't think it's going to work. I'm not going to do a bit of clay there with that clay here. Ah, oh, this could be a mess. So this is how you fix the gate out in a while. You lift the weight off the gate here and tighten that screw. I need two people now, but I want to see. Problem I have now. By putting that hinge back the way, you're raising the gate up, which is all very well. That's raised the gate up the right height, but it's also made the gate shorter. So what really needs to be done now is that bottom hinge needs to be pushed out. That can go in and out, but the bottom one cannot go in and out. So look what's happening now. I have the gate now the right height, but this bracket needs to come out. There's no way of adjusting that bracket out. I don't know how they wait around that problem, eh? Because these big posts bend. That whole post there, it, they don't stay level. The wood dries out, they bend. So I think uh, if I drop the gate down slightly, see it's that side there, it's just... Drop it down slightly here. So it should go down, I shall, you know, I want to see. Ah, oh, so it's half fixed down, it's half fixed. Because then anyone else is going to both sides. So, folk, I'll still have to use the gate to go this way. I've done my best. I've done my best, like, what else can I do, like? No way of adjusting that out there. I'll tighten this up here now. They should have double nuts on there. Because it's half working. That's my butt. There's a wee other sign there now. So I'll try to save my wee bit of money there, but uh, that's going to be an awkward wee job to fix there now, you know. The only real way of fixing it now is uh, move that whole bracket down. Ah, I don't know. So, are you at the rabbit's litter? Oh, there she is. Oh, that is good girl now. Right, Operation Look for Blackberries. 
Hop around and look for blackberries, okay? No eating rabbits, you can eat blackberries. She's been running, look at that. See the tongue hanging out? She has been running. So this is uh, Brentolot wood. This is what it is. The trees are all the same age. I came here the year they planted them. They, they just got a digger, dug a hole, and they actually planted the trees up in the raised bit, not in the hole. But here it is now, seven years later. The one thing I did notice when they first done it, they had a white flower meadow. They literally left, so they wouldn't, but I don't think there's any white flowers. I think it's been planted on now. But the first year they just let it grow in the white flower meadow. Eat butterflies and everything. Because so you wouldn't trust not really on the butterflies. They want trees. Breathing all this pollution off this road. Using the trees as a machine. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever tipped burnt all that wood. Do a wee bit of it. Nobody wants to see these videos here, the trees. Put in a few videos of bands. I don't believe how many people watch videos of bands. Even the people who don't like them are watching them. So they can be upset. We're going for the wee yellow trail. Do you want any water in that stream, is there? Is there any water in there? Check for water supplies. Can you get a drink? There's water there, Pep. Look at we drink of water. That's like here. No, you're not drinking very much. I'll just up the pipe. See if I took Luna, the uh, Anna Skill, to the caves. She would go into the caves, you know. She would love that. Hey, I'm about maxed up here, boys. The same trail is going two directions, like. So I presume that they want to go, they'll just send you around the circle and you come back. Oh, I've done that already, and you go back down again. But, uh, all oh, the butterflies in there. We brown boy, it's very small. Lots of wee flies and we very small butterfly out there. He's not much bigger than a moth, but it is a butterfly. He's not the prettiest, but it's very small. We brown thing. Looks like that. Luna's going scared. No butterfly chasing Luna. Everything could just be born today, you know. Let's give it its first day here. It's about a night and a half, maybe. Long. It's not the biggest butterfly. But I, have, I can't say I've seen many of them. He could be rare, you know. He could be rare. Come on, Luna! Luna doesn't discriminate. That's what I have to say about Luna. Doesn't matter if it's a red butterfly, brown butterfly, white butterfly. She chases them all. No discrimination with Luna. Oh, I don't really chase them. The only bad thing with this wee wood here was I don't can't understand why they didn't start out. There's one house in this field before they got the land. Now, I've never that's the road out there now. Uh, they own the land at the other side, but uh, they've actually got a sign, no access. It's their land, it's full of trees, but there's no footpath through it. Just totally trees, wildlife. So they have a big pile of land over there they wouldn't trust. Same age as this. But I suppose the way they look at you've already walked around this, you don't need to get in there. So that's left for the wildlife. We blackbirds are starting to get smaller now on our place. Luna! Look at that, look at the shape of them there, like. Yeah, that's a good one. They're starting to die already, like. They're no age and they're starting to die. Seems a shame, doesn't it? Why does nature create so much? That's all, that's all sugar and all. You know, we almost seem to eat blackbirds. And they just wither away. At the end of the day, they're a seed, I know that, but they're supposed to be eaten and carried somewhere else. And you wonder why they produce so many just to rot. There we go. Sorry, I had a couple of blackberries at home. It's needed extra calories today. That's the same wee stream she drank out of. We see it as a. As far as I know, it's the old drain here. It's not, it's not a pipe. Hardly show up today now, it's too dark. Uh, very great, that's going to make the road. 
but it's all made of stone. You know, today you have a big road cut to pay. It's like two stone walls and lentils put across using big gut cut stone. And that's how that drain is still made today. There's still driving over that in the car. Well, if it, that would be a round concrete pipe if it did that today. I was saying here, there's one house in this field. It was in the field before they bought, bought the land. And the land was right round the house. And there's a house somewhere there in... Um... Lena, Lena, come on. Oh, Lena, up this way. Lena, up, up, up. Up! Lena! Lena, up! Lena! Where's she gone? Lena! You go on the lead! On the lead! No chase on wildlife! No chase on wildlife! Um, there's a house somewhere in Old Castle Lights still. Well, it's in the middle of the forest and the private lane runs down but in the Castle Lights still, they have the footpath footpath going across the middle of the private laneway but uh, here they force you onto the road and walk around the private laneway I can't see why they couldn't cut across the private laneway even if uh, what's this here the memory of James and all the rest so some of these ashes must be in there plant the wee tree So here they put you onto the on the road. It's a wee back road, but can't fly on it like tractors. And that's the only bad thing. It sort of puts you off it like. And like when you walk on the road, the first thing you do is look down the private laneway at the house. What else are you going to do? Well, if you walked across the private laneway, you wouldn't mind to look at the house as much. So I think they should have give access, put a private road saying then the rest of the laneway folk walk across it so that's what we're coming up there now is it how they put her in the lead now like the laneway's over there like the house is down there no no but if you're here with a pile of wings it's a oh, lot of hassle trying to organize them they can out this gate the broad run up this gate to see who gets out first and knock down so we are always telling us now to turn right. See, there's the laneway. The thing is, the laneway's wide here. It wouldn't be as wide. Like, there's the gates. Why not give the wee path just in front of them gates? I've got gates to it, not like. To bring you out here in the road, it makes it a silly. You get the wee path, go in front of them, get proposed down if they end up knocking somebody down. Gates open up and some wee wee and gets a fingers cut. Like you can easily, not the length of that, you can easily move, have a wee path just going to the other side and a set of gates slightly down there. CCTV, two CCTV boys, I'm not happy for one. Probably all the angles, different models. And that probably one's Wi Fi. So there's the rest of their land now, they said no access. If you're done there, what are they going to do? But there'll be no point in going in there, there is no footpaths. Back in again now. Um, thank you for visiting Fahan Valley Woodlands. If you have five minutes to spare, we'd really appreciate your feedback about your visit today. Scan the V code. And scan that V code there. I'm gonna look you off now. The only good thing about going this way is a circle, circular walk like. So when we go back again, we don't come back this way. We we go the shortcut. It's not long enough like. These wee stones are a bit hard to walk on. You won't get no muck here. That path is well compacted in. But you wouldn't want to put a pram over it. So there's your way back there now. Oak Woods, Brackfield Wood, Red Bray Wood. And then Irby Wood Car Park this way. 
So we're near the end of this wood now. When we come back, we'll do that wee bus, basically going down hill and a wee bit of a swizz round. The weird thing is, um, every wood there, they put a new fence around every wood maybe about 15 years ago. They put a fence around the whole perimeter. Very good, well built fence, you know. And uh, the fence is still there. They could easily take the fence away now since it's all trees everywhere. But each side's keeping their own. And uh, every wood would be more proper wildlife. You're going to get the wee foxes and all that there. That's your proper Northern Ireland government. Look after that. Well, this is a charity here. And years ago, I used to walk down that part of every wood with wee Lucy. I seen wee fox cubs and all, and a couple of wee waterfalls and all. But they're all fenced off now. They don't want you going down there at all. And so when we go through it here. You see the fence on the right hand side. There's left now for the wildlife. But if they were to open that part of wood up again, it would be very short from our walk today to get into every wood. You can follow the river the whole way up. Let me see the map here. Uh, so this is just this wood on its own. Glen Shane Road. So you see the river there, like. Um, we're, we're parked there. And we have walked the way up here. And... Uh, Um, Two Oaks Wood and Brackfield Wood by an underpass. So uh, that's the way of coming there then. So it's not that road, it's not on the map here. We have, I'm trying to work this out here now, that's, that doesn't look. The distance seems wide bike for what we walk. That has to be where we're parked. We're parked next to the river. There's the other river slightly on it. So we are parked there. We've done the road, but that seems way far. There's a couple of houses, two houses on that road. And we have come in and walked around here. But when you're there, parked here, there's every wood. Every wood comes right down. There's the car. No length of path to every wood. And when you get to every wood, there's a, a lane, a farmer's lane that I used to walk, was open to the public up until about 10 years ago. And that lane runs pretty close, not right next to the river, pretty close to the river. There's a, there's a big stream comes down here, a bit of a waterfall, and uh, there's concrete slabs put on for tractors to cross. The gate, this is a field. This is an empty field here. Used to be horses in there. There's nothing in there now. Um, the nursing nurseries used to be here. It is so short. Unbelievable short. The field there looks like the field in them other woods, uh, it's a wee half moon shaped field. But, uh, if they opened that up, you could go on up then a wheelchair. Instead of all this hill climbing. And you're next to the water. But I say, this is all closed off now. They have a fence up here now. They want all this just for wildlife. But when I came here to start years ago, 20 years ago, you couldn't do a circular walk and I would have parked the car park and I had a wee path going down through there and I would have done a circle through here I would have walked along the riverbank so that's, that was my weekly walk I'd done my wee let's say years ago never seen oh that's like a wee mouse things it's the smallest mammal found in Ireland the something shrew a good swimmer this little creature needs to eat Every four hours to stay alive. Sounds like myself, you know. Listen for the high pitch chattering. While hunting for beetles and all the insects. Never heard what sound they make. I reckon that's what Lunas is after half time. See all these wee tiny creatures along the grass. Then I'm on iPad. So that's the main road up there now. You got the wee county road. And this is a wee shortcut they made to go into the car park. You see, once we go through here, it totally changes. There's a wee counter there. You see, like around here now, like there's no um, ferns or nothing like that. So I say, this was a farmer's field. You're not going to get bluebells. You're not going to get nothing like that. 
There's the original ditch there now, and the fence of uh, Irvywood. They're trying to do away with Irvywood too, that they can't nest Country Park now. But I like to keep the old names. So like Eglinton Airport, City Day Airport. It's Eglinton Airport. Well, then anybody from outside wouldn't know where Eglinton Airport is now. So, uh, I would have walked down there years ago where we, uh, we go see. And the weird thing about it, you've got this bit of a stream, and they had a big wooden bridge to cross the stream. There were no footpaths made, but they put the wooden bridge in to get you across the stream. And then it was up to yourself where you went. And when they put this path in, they took the wooden bridge away and put a pipe in. Don't understand that. Now, it's then that, this path looks wide enough to get a vehicle down. But there's a big, big concrete pipe now. So I don't know if I have any old videos or not. But look how far they ran the pipe. There's a nice wee wooden bridge. And say so you would cross the wooden bridge and you would just walk down there. And you see how nice that wood looks like. But um, you would have had um, fallen down trees and stuff. But I had to clear a lot of it. I used to carry a wee hand saw. So I'm going to stop the video in here now. I've been in every wood pairs of times. But uh, where well, Luna been keen on wildlife, I wouldn't be so keen on taking Luna down there anyway. I don't want to chase some wildlife. If I had wee Lucy again or wee Willow, I'd walk down there. They don't touch wildlife. So where are y'all saying go now? Let's Total go. distance one mile. Total time 38 minutes and 35 seconds. Split pace 38 minutes 35 seconds per mile. So there you go now. It's exactly one mile from Bentola Bridge up to this car park. So that's handy to know, isn't it? Um, this car park up here doesn't have a height barrier. We could go down that way now. We've got here now. Uh, they haven't actually got... Once you get to here now, that wee yellow sign stops. So it's telling you Ness Country Park that way. Bentola and the car park. All the paths are really the same way anyway. But Miles might want to know what this car park's like. And this is a weird thing about it. It, it. it makes you think people just find like jobs. For years this car park used to close at 4 o'clock the month. A man would have came and locked that gate. And then um, whenever they opened up the new car park, it closes about 4 o'clock the month. The man locks that gate, but this gate stays open. Does it make sense? So you just have to make a job of boy locking a gate. So this gate's never locked no more. Car park's pretty level. If you come in here at night time, nobody would know. N-I-E-A -E on this place. We picnic table up there with a tree. We poop scoop them. Been like many years ago, there's none of these trees here, it was all up like ground. So this is the Irvy Wood part now. They're not showing the Woodland Trust. Woodland Trust is here. So we've walked the mile by walking away around all that long way. So you see how short it would be? So there's the path comes down along there and swirls around. But when you, before you get to that big steep hill going up, there is a lane that runs down. The lane's there. Um, I might try and find it today. No, but then see, there's too many fences in the way. But well, there used to be uh, boys would have went and camped in there and they left the tin cans and all behind. They left the mess. And then what they done next? Trees fell down. They said, one day, right, we're not going to clear this. So just let nature take over and stop clearing it. And now it's all overgrown. But if you start from this end, it's easy to find. And then I used to walk along the riverbank in itself. The riverbank was up about three, four feet. I would have walked along the bank in one way. And then I walked up through the trees. That's the way I would have done it. I never actually walked the lane. But the lane's there. The only part of the lane I walked was the very end. The end of it. So it'd be very easy to reopen that lane. And then you've got a pretty flat, because it's all hills here, but along there it's pretty flat if you were to keep that lane open. Morning, we honey.